In this video tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to reformat your computer and install Windows. Uh, this method can be used even if you do not want to reformat and simply upgrade your Windows. And um, no matter which Windows version you're using, so if you're using Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7, um, this method works for all those versions of Windows. And the reason I'm doing a screen capture is because obviously I'm reformatting so that program will not work, so I'm going to have to do it like this. Um, so for those of you that want to jump straight to reformatting, you can do so. I'll put a little bubble link here. For those of you that don't know what's going to happen, basically you can't insert the Windows CD while the computer is running and just you know double click on the DVD-ROM drive and try to install Windows like that. Essentially what you have to do is put the Windows CD into your DVD-ROM drive, restart the computer, and tell the co computer to boot up the DVD-ROM drive first. Because the default option for your motherboard is to load the C drive. Because that is going to look for Windows. The motherboard is going to say, okay, Windows is on the C drive, let's boot that up first. But this time you don't want that. You want your um, DVD-ROM drive to start up first so that the motherboard will be like, hey, there's a CD in um, the DVD drive, let's load that up first, and that's how you're going to load up Windows. So whether you're reformatting um, or just upgrading, just follow along. So essentially, you have to start up your computer with the CD already in the computer. And um, let me just do that right now. So just pressing the reset button. And to boot up the DVD-ROM drive, you're going to have to go into your uh, BIOS settings. For my computer, I just gotta keep pressing the delete button as soon as it starts up, like right there. Just keep pressing it. Okay, there we go. Um, so this is my BIOS settings. Essentially, uh, let me just show you, it's easier. Okay, so when it says boot here, this is the option you want. For my motherboard, when it's computer starting, I gotta keep pressing away at the delete button as the computer's starting, as you saw, within like the first few seconds. Um, some computers differ, you might have to keep pressing the F12 button, but you can get a quick glance of it at the beginning, um, so just take, keep an eye out for that. So basically you can go to boot, uh, if you don't have a boot menu at the top, like right up here, just look for anything that says boot device priority, where it's white highlighted. Press enter on that, and this is where you're selecting which device is starting up first. As you can see, this is my hard drive, HDD's hard drive. IDE is um, a DVD-ROM drive. I have two because one is my burner, but I know that this is the primary DVD drive. This is where my Windows CD is in right now. So I'm going to select that by pressing enter. And, um, oops, no, 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 sorry. I want to go to the first one because it says first boot device. That was my honest mistake. Select that, and we're going to change that to the DVD-ROM drive. And then you're going to select where it says save and exit. you got to save these settings in order to make them work. So. Okay. And this is what's going to happen. I'll show you right now. This is the option you're looking for. When your computer says that press any key to start from the CD, that's what you're looking for right here. I have to just press any key. If it's your first time doing this, you might have to tr retry these steps a couple times. It's all a matter of timing. And it says press any key to boot from the CD or DVD. Just press any key on your keyboard. And this is what you should be getting. It's essentially um, loading files from the DVD-ROM drive right now, from the Windows CD. And quite honestly, that was the hardest bit. From here on out, all the instructions are written on the screen. It's very basic. Um, Windows XP is slightly more difficult, Windows Vista is a bit easier, and Windows 7 is the easiest because it's a lot more user friendly, but like I said, this method can be used for any version of those windows. This is like the hardest part. From here on out, it's really easy. So if you got this far, kudos to you. Okay, after a bit of a wait, um, it depends on how fast or slow your computer is, it can take a few minutes. I'm running a quad core and for me to get to this screen after the last one you saw it took about mm, two minutes. Just fill out all the generic information um, and just 
keep pressing next. Like all the instructions are on screen, very easy to follow. Like I said, if you're win running Windows XP or upgrading to or whatever, it's a bit more complicated. The newer the Windows version, the bit easier it gets. And just to reiterate, if you're not looking to reformat but you simply want to upgrade, just keep following along. Um, I'll show you at which step you can do that. Okay, I just skipped the step where you have to like check mark a box with the terms and agreements. This is this is for people who um, the top option. If you this is Windows Seven, this is for people that simply want to upgrade to Windows Seven. Um, so like I said. Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7 differ, but on Windows 7, this is the option you want if you simply want to upgrade. Keep in mind, most likely everything on your your primary C drive will not be deleted, but I suggest you back up everything just in case. Um, furthermore, you will need to reinstall your drivers. Windows 7 does a good job of trying to find them itself with an internet connection, but there are some odd cases where it won't work. So. If you don't know how drivers work, I'll include a video explaining how to use them and how to download them. Um, it's essential for newbies, and it's uh, drivers are essential for your computer. For those of you that want to reformat, click custom. Okay, this is where all your hard drives are listed. Um, a whole bunch of like stuff, and I have a lot because. This is my C drive, I can tell you that right now, and this is my secondary hard drive. So I want to reformat, so I'm going to get rid of this. Click Drive Options Advanced. Okay, so I can't do anything with that. I don't want the system reserved. If you're not sure what this is, I suggest you leave it. I don't want it, I don't need it, so I'm going to get rid of it. But if you don't know what you're doing with it, just leave it. I usually hit Delete, not Format. It's going to give you a warning, do you want to get rid of it? I'm going to say yes. See, it's disappeared. It's merged into the, the, the first one. And um, if I click this, which is my primary hard drive, this is going to merge with this one now. Watch. Okay. As you can see, it, it's, it's merged now. So this is going to be the C drive. Um, and this is the secondary hard drive. So I'm going to ignore this. This is where Windows is going to be installed. Just press next. And that's it. From here on out, all you do is basically wait. You fill out some generic information. Um, what do you want the account, like the username to be? Um, what do you want your computer name to be? Which is pretty good if you're on a home network and you want to connect a whole bunch of computers via your router. Um, you can name what your computer wants. So, uh, for example, for my spare room computer, we, need, we, we name it spare computer. So that whenever someone wants to connect to it, we know, okay, that's a spare room computer. So there's, there's no need to continue this video, like, recording on my end. It's very simple from here on out. And um, you can pretty much do it on your own, even if you're an absolute newbie to what, you know, what to expect. Trust me, this, the instructions are so simplified, anyone can do it. All you need is your serial number, um, which is a given. And of course, once you're done, whether you're upgrading or reformatting and installing Windows like I am right now, I'm doing a clean install. Regardless of the situation, you need drivers. So I'll include that link at the end of the video again. And in that video, I'll explain how drivers work, what they do, and how you can get them. If you found this video useful, subscribe to my channel. Check out my website for more tech news, tech tips, tech rumors. And thanks for watching.